So more businesses could be moving into what used to be considered an eyesore in West Lafayette. News 18's Krista Henry joins us live from the new Wabash Commons with the latest on the construction there. Hi, Krista. Hey, Jeff and Gina. During the past year, you've probably noticed a lot of new developments here uh, at along Sagamore Parkway in West Lafayette that used to be home to the old Kmart. Now, I spoke with several residents today who live nearby and say, bottom line, it's just uh, a breath of fresh air being able to step out to the door to see some positive changes for the community. I have lived here almost 10 years now when we moved here. Vacant lot, ugly. Since Kmart left, it's been kind of just a wide open mess. This former Kmart site was an eyesore. Uh, at that time, it was just a concertina wire fence with nothing but gravel and weeds growing in here. But what was once considered an eyesore to the community is now home to several new businesses in West Lafayette. We have IU, Arnett, that's putting a medical facility here. We've got the bank, and we also have Mike's car wash. Mayor John Dennis says because of those three anchors, more development has moved into the area. We now have Miracles Fitness, and from what we understand, there's going to be a restaurant put on the end of Miracles Fitness, and the former strip center there where that holds the Silver Dipper is getting close to being filled as well. I think those are all great things, and they're a benefit to the city, and um, hopefully, you know, it'll It'll keep growing. I'm concerned about a little traffic, more traffic being here. But other than that, it's just wonderful that uh, I can look across the street and see businesses there as opposed to the vacant lot. It just shows how well if you work cooperatively with the developer, work cooperatively with your neighborhoods, something truly worth looking at can happen. Now, Mayor Dennis says the reason it took several years for new developments to come to town, especially at this uh, empty lot, was that they were working with several different developer, developers and really trying to work with the community and residents here to find out what would be the best fit for this lot. Now, as far as the completion of the IU Health Arnett building, uh, Mayor Dennis says that he hopes to have that finished by early this fall. Reporting live in West Lafayette tonight, Krista Henry, News 18.